Don't let me lose a buy in first hand because that'd be well annoying. Okay, no diamonds, please. Oh my god, just don't. Actually, don't. Ace King of Hearts, you say? It's a nice looking, it's a nice looking hand. Every day, then he posted on his blog. Ooh, we're gonna have to call four about that. Uh, well, this isn't good, is it? I kind of want to see a turn, but like, I guess just quarter part. And then shove a heart turn. I mean, this is kind of annoying because I don't know if he's ever going to continue many worse hands now, but forever bluffing, we're doing this. I want to see what, what this hand does. Just shove, and honestly, I don't really expect to get called by many worse hands. But if we have ace-queen, we have to take this line. Um, so I think he's going to have, like, maybe king-queen of spades, specifically. Other than that, he can still have aces and tens. I need to avoid an absolute snapper It's going to fold. He's never going to call three streets with worse. Guess that's good when we have ace-queen. Win half a buy now, that's good. Uh, okay, we're going to three bet this ace-king suited. Uh, I guess we'll go 14. Here on a high roll, we're going to check raise. I think makes sense. The thing is, he should have some King X floats as well, which is, well, no, that's bad for us because we don't have two pounds. I might ignore that. <laughs> uh, why are you three betting your weirdo? With the backdoor flush, we call. Um, he shouldn't really have 9x a lot, and he might just have some random blasts. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. Uh, if he has aces here, we'll just tag him as a nip. But, like, I've got ace-king suited. I'm not folding. I'm going to fold here, though. Okay. 10. 10, 10, 10. We are drawing dead. This is why you run it twice. Be an ace or a king. Okay. Never a necessity to sub. Just you guys watching. I appreciate shit. Um, this is sketchy. It could very well be a fold. I'm not expecting this guy to exactly fucking blast off when, when he has ace kings here. So even in position. Pretty good flop. Not a good turn, but we're definitely going to bat here because we have fold equity. I'd expect all of his overpairs to bat. The problem is this guy can have... I mean, we block like tens and queens, which are the strongest hands of him for... Probably of both, to be honest. I'm hoping this gets through on the turn. If not, we'll probably have to barrel the river because we don't block spades. The most likely hand I'd be worried about him having after checking and taking this line would be pocket jacks. Um, so yeah, we're going to bluff here. I'm not going to bet too big because my value doesn't want to bet big. I guess I have some full houses, um, but my jack x might want to do this. Do I want to go this size? Does he ever check back a hand like aces on the flop? I don't think he should, but he could. I think we do this. I think Ace Jack is strong enough to value bet for this size. I expect to see folds or all ins. Blocking tens is pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, I expect to see an all in with jacks or just like a fold with like, I don't know, spades or like fucking King Queen Seward or some shit. I don't know. They're, they're, generally, people aren't as polar as GTO Wizard tends to be. I mean, this is a very confusing flop. Set of flops. I'm on a 98, so I will raise here. I expect a lot of floats on this board. Um, so I'm actually going to check this turn. Um, and hopefully he just blasts off some nonsense. I guess we call here. Um, be the ace of the six of spades. We got a straight and a flush. Blast off some nonsense. The ace isn't great for us. Thing is, he'll give up the ace of fucking spades now, won't he? Or will he just shove it? This guy looks really active. I don't think I want to fold against this guy. Do I want to see a shove? I think I, I want to see this shove. Rather than a smaller bet. Because I, I think that like... When he has bluffs, it's going to be the ace of spades, and he needs to go all in with the ace of spades. You don't see it often. You really don't see bluffs like this often. And so I can fold this, theoretically, I'm pretty sure, because we can have better hands here. 
but I'm not going to fold this against this guy. And I'm hoping that we see Ace X with the Ace of Spades. You fucking love to see it. Honestly, it's like a fucking gift. It's like I can't control it. I am so good at this game, it's ridiculous. The, the fact that e people ever give me shit. Oh my god, I tell you day after day that nobody bluffs in this fucking pool. And I just told you the guy would have to have Ace X with the Ace of Spades and turn it into a bluff so I need him to 2x pot shove. Somebody suck me off right now. Ace King suited and Kings. Go on then. Not the best flop I've ever seen for Ace King suited. Not the best. I don't think this hand wants to bet. Maybe it does. Kings, we get a walk. Fantastic. I wonder if we call again. Yeah, we probably call again because we've got four outs of the notes. We unblock like five, six, six, sevens. I mean, the overbet is now only repping sets and, and two pair. So I wonder if this calls versus overbet or not, because an ace or a king could be pretty disastrous. But now he's super polar, so he only really has queens. Uh, he only really has threes, fours, queen, jack, and queen, four, suit. So I think we can call this. Um. <laughs> okay, I guess he, he can have five dudes suited for combos. Ace queen three bet, so he doesn't have ace queen. I don't know if queen four bets like this anymore. So we're looking at queen jack and sets, and sets come back bigger. So now we just have to call. So maybe queen jack does this specifically. I think we just lose to queen jack, and that's it. <laughs> what a fucking absolutely ridiculous run out. What a fucking life. How do you not overbet shove that as well, you fucking cretin? You're getting downgraded, buddy. Fucking what a shit run out, man. Jesus Christ. What a fucking shit start. Fall down with ace high correctly and then get the fucking worst river in the deck, bro. Jesus Christ. I bet he fannies out on other fucking turns. I bet he fannies out on other rivers. And the only card I'm going to get, like, I'm not going to call on a nine. Overbet the turn and then on the river, make sure we get called by a hand. How are you raising here, buddy? Let me guess, King 10 again. So we can have jacks here for value. Uh, we can chop with 10 9. An 8 9 suited. Uh, I guess we just lose here. This is this is getting up. This is actually fucking ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna overbet. The problem with this is like I might need him to just fold the turn here. Because I wonder how often he's gonna call turn. Like, does he fold his ace fives here? Like ace five suited, ace ten suited. Maybe, maybe not. This might just have to be a triple because we block his strongest top pair. We might end up just with having pocket sevens. Get through on the turn. I wonder if that's actually fine. I guess we can have bets on that board rather than just checks. Uh, we're going to be all in with those king suited unless Coke Zero five bets. Or Bro Cringe five bets. I guess we'll fold. Ospeel, pretty sure a 2k rag that's playing 88 big blinds, you fucking idiot at all. I wonder if we call this or if we just get this in. Shady. Nice little part, I'll take that. Come on, Thanapai. Somebody just three bet, and even if you three bet fold, I'll take it. Can't be asked getting two walks with aces back to back. How is ever? Oh my god. Just getting it in, isn't he, boys? Jesus, hold. Ah, oh, don't. Don't. No king or eight. <laughs> it's never easy, though, but fucking what is he doing? That was so nice of him. Oh, I thought that was the nuts, but it's not. I wonder if uh, King 10 suited ever 4 bets actually in position. Probably not because it tends to very infrequently 4 bet these type of hands. But 
We are going to check crows here on a high roll. Probably go a little bigger. And check about the king's hand. Um, we are going to barrel the turn here for pot. I think overbetting is fine as well. Is the ten of diamonds any good to barrel a diamond? Probably not. I will possibly end up folding this. Mm, maybe the queen of diamonds is bad because we don't block king queen of diamonds. I'm on a four, so I'm going to chat like a fanny. I think either check or 2x pot shove is the best thing to do here. And I guess I just shove when I never have a diamond. I think not having a diamond, we'll see if um, this changes anything. But this guy doesn't seem like he gets too out of line. I guess he, like, having the 10 of diamonds is bad, I guess, because we block ace 10, queen 10, and king 10 of diamonds, all which take this line. King would have been juice. I wonder if he folds the river. I wonder if he folds the river. He'd probably just give up on the river. Hello! Jack 10 9. This is the Nutter Butters. I'm a low roll, so I'm gonna flat. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna play the old sneaky sneaky. Just break the river. Two of clubs. So I'm gonna flat here again. Just because he's gone so big here. If he'd have bet smaller, I definitely would have called. And just be a brick. <laughs> How about the anti brick? We block ace king and ace queen as well. That's like the worst card in the deck. Besides, I guess the 10 of hearts might be worse. Does he have a check shove 10 jack? What even calls here? I'm going to. I can't check this book. What am I doing here? I really want to check this back. I think we might get, just get check jammed on by boats. And when we don't, it's going to go check fold. I think he just pure gives up. That's never going to be a check back, especially blind on blind. But honestly, exploitatively, I think we can check that back. Not because I don't think we have the best hand. But we are bet folding there. We free roll ourselves against... Um, he basically won't have any ace X there. Because his ace X that's going to continue turn is going to be ace queen and ace king. Like, I don't think he's going to bomb ace eight on that size. So I don't think he has ace X. So when he doesn't have ace X, what can he realistically have on that board? Uh, just going to pure call here. I think GG Wizard goes bigger. I think this is super low EV, but one run a high roll. Um, and two, I think people don't bluff enough. This guy might. This guy seems like he might be an all right rag, but... Because with backdoor straight, are we interested in defending eights? Yeah, surely we have enough better hands. Okay. I'm just dead ranging this this board here. In position or out, to be honest. A little bit, a little bit worried now. Well, uh, good news is we have outs against everything. Unless he has 10-8 suited, which he shouldn't. Um, okay, we still call here. Even though this is just weird. How about the five of diamonds? Didn't really have many 10x. I guess he could have kings though. And maybe nines. I guess that ace 10 of hearts. Does he do this with 10 jack? Not folding out. Oh, he's got fucking straight, man. That's such a shit over bet. What the fuck is that? How, how grim is that river? Getting two outward, man. That's so sick, man. Honestly. Picking up the aces. Picking up the ace. Go on, four bet me. Nice. We're going to flop. Look at that flop. He has one hand, one combo of hand that is better than ours. We're going to four bet this ace king, I think. He could have jacks, which is suck. Ace king with four bet. King eight, five. Shove queens. Going about small on the shove river. I really don't like not having a diamond here. But we're still all in. Love to see it. Love to fucking see it. Might just take my time with it. That's a set of fours. So that's pretty cool. So, um, here we're going to mix. I'm going to fold. I think this, like, folds around half the time. 
Um, I'm not sure what size you may want to go. I'd imagine small here. I don't mind going for the big size with this hand. He's king. We're going to three bet. Shadow. Thanks for the follow. A side board. Right. Uh, I'm going to bet a third here. I rolled low, so I'm going to flat, but I think this hand wants to three bet a lot. And we'll check it. He, only has, he should only have fives that beats us. I don't think... Um, I don't think 2-3 wants to defend. I don't really want to see a 7. Well, I mean, we, there's a lot of cards we don't want to see. I might just shove this. No, I'm going to low roll. Okay, that should be a very clean rivet. The problem is it might be difficult to get caught by ace 5 now. If he shoves, he's probably just got 5s or some random bluff. Just have fucking 6-3 and go all in with 6 high. Jesus. I swear, I can't catch a fucking break at this game. I actually cannot catch a break at this game. It's so wild, man. Some of the shit that happens. Fuck me. We finally got to even, and then we had some of the most bullshit hands I've ever seen today. That fucking pocket eights hand was a joke. And then just straight off the bat, I've played eight fucking hands. I've been set over setted, man. Honestly, this doesn't fucking happen to anybody else. I've never tuned into a stream when someone started a stream and they just get set over set. In the first fucking, in the first orbit. It's fucking disgusting. Actually fucking disgusting. Honestly, if I lose a stack here, I might just call it a fucking day, man. Aces. Alright. Even if he folds now, we win two and a half big blinds. I can't be asked taking the green screen off, but... Crash Bandicoot. Come on, how's your beat? I am gonna shove like a fucking idiot. Because at least if I lose, <laughs> I get it on the EV. I don't know if it shoves at any frequency. 89. That'll do. We'll see if it shoves at any frequency. It might not. It might just pure call. Nice. Hold. Seven. Oh. Actually, nobody runs worse than me. They literally don't. They actually just don't. There is no fucking shot, man. There is no fucking shot. <sighs> guys, 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 guys. I've played 200 hands. I've played 200 hands. I've been set over setted. I've lost ace king to ace king. And I've lost aces against kings. If you could check Luke warm water, I'd be okay with it. Do I want to bet? No. Do I want to bet the river? Ace Creamy chat back. It's gonna fucking call down. Get shafted by some nonsense. Is he gonna 2x pot shove? I'll probably fold to a 2x pot shove. What better hands do I even have? I'm not folding to that. Ace 4. Fucking yeah. What else, buddy? What else? Uh, we're gonna 3 back here. Uh, what shit flop? Uh, versus under the gun, I'm not going to check raise, I don't think. Uh, just folding here. He's going to be fucking, this guy's in net, like, he's just going to have a, a really nutted range pre-flop, so, yeah, just folding. Um, he can still maybe have, like, we block aces, I think king doubles a lot, so we should be able to bet this. Still get called by king queen, it's the main hand we're targeting here. Should be good. This fucking game. Uh, queens are going to three bats. He's going to see about range.
Jack's actually... I guess it brings in Jack's, but like it takes out combos of King Jack. And we block a combo of King Queen. What Jack X does he have? Ace Jack of Spades. Uh, no, Ace Jack of Clubs specifically. Just a check call here. Um, we can't actually value bet and get called by worse in these pools. Um, I guess King Ten of Spades is like King Ten of Suited is his most likely value bet, which he'll only do for a small size. When he does that, we're going to call because he, he should only have one combo of Jack X here. Fuck knows what he's going to bluff, but like. How can you really have value? I'm so good at this fucking game. There's no shot you've got value there, buddy. I don't really... I think his play's shit. I think his play's really bad. But at the same time, he's just adult bluffed. He's just over bet ace high. It was Jack... Was it Jack 9? Is it Jack 9x? Ace on the turn, 10 on the river? Or was it Jack... Or, or was it... Was it Jack 10x? I wish I had a better fucking flop here, no? no I guess ace Jack I showed on. Uh, I'm gonna, like, I'm not really repping that much if I raise, by the way, but, like, I have to raise now because I block everything good. Um, and I will occasionally have the nut flush. And I'm on a high roll. Hang on a minute. That's four, is that four years? Just fucking fold for once in your life, buddy. Just fold. Nobody bluffs. Mel, this next song is for you. 48 months. What do you mean, Mel? That's four years, isn't it? Yes, we get it through as well. Mel brought the run good. Mel, this one's for you. Big shout out to Mel. 48 fucking months, man. Four years. The longest current subscriber. Insane, man. Up in a flush draw. I'm gonna call, I think. Turn in a flush. I'm uh, just gonna bat here. Going a bit small with the flush. I don't really have that many 3-bets in general because I won't 3-bet bluff this a lot, so I'm just going to call and pray it breaks. The break. If he has a nut flush, he has a nut flush. Um, we're all in, regardless of what he does. If he goes all in, we call. If he bets big, we go all in. Um, yeah. It's actually, yeah, he still has worse flushes. If we have, like, King Queen of Hearts here, we flat. Just please don't have the nut flush. Fucking day is so fucking cancer, man. In 700 hands, set over set, aces against ace king and lose. Ace king into ace king and lose. Nut flush versus second nut flush, blind versus blind. Fucking absolutely unreal. How have you even got anywhere near a ragtag? What are you doing? Can I call here? No problem being out of position. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if we should do this. I'll bluff forever though if it goes chat chat. I think I'm going to bat here. Am I? Yeah, I don't really know what size. Do I want to bet big? What am I really repping? What can I bet for value here? I think I can do this because I think my king actually wants to do this. We're mainly trying to fold out like sevens, like ace queen, ace jack, shit like that. I should probably call that river as well when he overbats. Like theoretically, this guy's just fucking getting in, isn't he? Go on then. How about 15 big blinds to go? Calls, obviously. <laughs> Playing for stacks. If he's got it, he's got it. I uh, don't think we have a lot to protect from, so just call, allow random punts in. We're going to overbet here on the left. King of clubs. Random punts in. Call in because they are a rag and it's button versus big blind. Have kings. Or is queens better? What do we have more equity against? Kings or queens? Check shoving, even though it doesn't really make sense to. I guess we check shove queens and we check shove aces um, no heart for value. If they bet range as well, we have fold equity against ace king. 
I'd ra I'd take the fold with Ace King to be honest. If hopefully we have Ace King and fold, but I think shoving here for sure. We'll check if we played this one GTO. If you have Kings, we're flipping. We'll take it. Wow. Somehow get there. Alright, uh, at least we played it well. We played the hand well. Obviously, we can't win a flip today, but whatever. Is, is, is this going to happen again? Is this going to happen back to back? Is it a loose call pre as well? I guess we can just call now, right? We want a nine. You could easily have a fucking king queen. Doesn't bat. If he's got kings, it's just the 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 perfect hand to the to the to the perfect day. And he could it, kings is so it's almost likely. Shove, I guess. Okay. Just <sighs> when we fucking drill it, when we hit the nut flush there, or we hit the nut flush with the ace eight of hearts, or we hit the fucking case, the, the the nine on the river, we never get paid. But when we've got fucking two overs, nut flush draw, or when we've got fucking the second nut flush, they just they they always get a stack, but I don't get the stack. So fucking tilting, man. Not even that bad. I thought it'd be worse. I thought it'd be worse. Don't let me lose a buy-in first hand, because that'd be well annoying. Okay, no diamonds, please. Oh my god, just don't. Actually, don't. It's so fucking tilting. Don't. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking hell, man. What the fuck is that? I sit down and I get stacked fucking first hand. Um, I am going to fall back this. Because I think it's probably going to fall back pure. We don't even need to go this big. GTO was a go smaller, but I think this is fine. Okay, this guy gives himself the pink tag. Not a 10 eye bud, but... We'll take a 9. We will take a 9 ball corner pocket. That'd be nice. Show me the nine of clubs. I wonder if we want to bat the turn. Probably not three way, right? Sucks if we like, like king queen of diamonds and shit get to realize equity, but I guess we call here. He really shouldn't have like, I guess eights and sevens are the only hands he can have that, that are really good. Maybe ace jack. Maybe we should fall with a play left to act, but. Uh, I mean, we're not turning into a bluff. That takes away some value. I guess he's got some flushes now. I wonder if we should just fucking bluff this. When I get into fold ace jack, king jack suited. I guess we have a little bit of showdown against nines. Um, we'd specifically be targeting queen jack should actually fold, but I'd... queen jack, no, queen jack should fold. It's called four bet. So king jack suited and ace jack suited, so. And obviously, two of those are flushes. So basically, we're only targeting like two combos of hands to fold here. So this has to be a check. You should also check his full houses. So yeah, bluffing here would be terrible. So I need him to have like nines. Oh my god, bro. Picking up the ace king with three bet and blind and blind. And then we're going to go all in. So let's just... Can we win an all in? Maybe. Could we win an all-in? Yep, that sounds about right, doesn't it, chaps? What else, really? Fucking hell. Queen. What else? Aces versus fucking ace-king blind on blind. Considering, mate, honest to god. This is the worst I've run ever. What else? Just fucking aces, boys. Just fucking aces. Left behind. We're gonna squeeze the ace-queen. Fold, please. 
Uh, eights and nines are extremely possible here. I'm still going to bat, though. Honestly, I might just bat fold the flop. Because we block, like, a shitload of his bluffs, and we're dead to some of his value. This is just such an annoying board where, like... I'm so scared to bat. We're going to do this, and if we get raised, I'm, I'm just going to just cry. I uh, have to shove the sevens are relevant. So, ten jacks suited, eights and nines. I don't even know if he calls worse, that's the only problem, but we just have to shove top two. Made the snap, we like it. We'd have to bluff king jack suited here. Oh my god, that guy is a baloog baloogs. A6. Why not? We open ace king suited, villain calls. I wanted to see what was going on here. We had ace king of spades, which is doing a lot better. We kind of like blind versus blind tends to be a lot of fucking nonsense in solvers. There's a lot of just random shit, which like it, it goes against intuition a lot. Things are supposed to be very different blind on blind as opposed to your other positions, but I don't think people take that into account enough. So I wouldn't even worry about solving spots blind on blind, but I was just curious to see what he wanted to do here. Um, we check villain had king 10, which doesn't really bet a lot, but that's and he went for a small size. We continue ace king suited. The turn comes to jack of spades. We check villain over bats, which is a thing here. And so he went for about this size and King 10 is doing this to be fair, right? I decided to call here with ace king suited, which might fold. Let me see what it does. No, it pure calls. Fucking Jesus. I'm a GTO wizard. The reason why is because he's not repping shit here. So like overbats are supposed to be for value. Let's have a look at just what overbats are for value. Queen four, queen three. 4-3, right? I don't think you'll see overbats. People generally play the strength of their hand. They bat the strength of their hand. 4-3 suited feels too thin for an overbat. Like, it's not, but, like, it feels too too thin for an overbat. So, and I think he bets bigger with sets on the flop. So, like, maybe he's got some sets. But I literally said in game, he's like, he's probably only got, like, fucking queen jack here. Because I just don't think he takes that line a lot. In any case, we are still pure calling with ace-king, which is, uh, which is interesting. We're doing a lot of calling, to be fair. All our jack X is called. But this is the thing. Because he has so many overbats, we get to call a lot. Anyway, the river comes to fucking ace of hearts. And we lead ace king suited, but I didn't. I check. And villain is, let me guess, he's supposed to go all in. Of course he is. He's supposed to go all in for 240% pot. When he doesn't do that, he bets 150%. Doesn't even have, like, the smaller bats or whatever with king 10. And he only has it at a tiny frequency. In any case, my man went fucking 60% pot, didn't he? Now, the reason he goes 60% pot is what you're supposed to do here. You're supposed to go all in or bet. Like, like, look at this. This is the range that you're supposed to do, right? So you're supposed to go all in or bet 150% pot. And he's supposed to have fucking hands like 10-6, king-3, king-2, king-7, king-6, 5-3, six, 6-2. Obviously, this is all tiny frequency. But the idea of this is you get to go all in because you get to go all in with some shit. So you go all in with your fucking strong hands. Now, I think I tagged him as a nit because he ended up going this size. And honestly, it sounds so stupid, but it's a nitty thing to do because it's basically greedy. It's showing that you're just being like, oh, I really want to get called now that I fucking backdoored into the nuts and I don't want to bet too big because I'm not going to bluff too big. Like, people aren't going to bluff like that. So they don't get to... Like, they're not going to over bet bluff. Like, they're just not. They're just going to probably give up their fucking six highs. Like, five, six. And check this. If he goes 60% pot because of what he's supposed to bet in that range, Ace King suited raises at a frequency. So we three bet, it was actually small blind um, versus button. And button four bets king jack offsuit, which we're only doing very small frequency. Uh, this is just an annoying one to lose where, yeah, we have a pure call here. And I wanted to see both strategies here. We check villain bets. Um, they went for a bigger size here on this board. Uh, anyway, they bet 15 big blinds. So they bet one third, which it does not really doing. Yeah, so this mixes between shove and call. And I think just shoving is better, to be honest. EV is the same, but I'm just going to pure shove this hand, I think. 
Okie dokie, we open under the gun and the small blind three bats. We roll high and defend pocket eights, which is about half the time. And I wanted to see what we're defending with on a board like this. Oh, this was the fucking stupid hand. No, we already covered this one. I think this one worked. I wanted to see originally what we're defending with versus the third. If we defend eights, yeah, we do. But this was the fucking hand. It goes check, check. This was so grim. The turn comes to seven of hearts. He bets 125% pot. We call with eights. And then the river comes the fucking eight of spades. And he shoves and he's got ace, five of clubs. Honestly, this one, I was just like... Especially when somebody overbats, by the way. When somebody starts to utilize overbats, I think that, like, you can call, like, you know, so this, even though it says fold sometimes, call sometimes with a set of eights, I think that you can start to call more because when people overbat, they generally understand the, the concept of overbatting and the concept of being polar. And if you understand the concept of being polar and you are overbatting and being polar, then you should understand the concept of bluffing and bluff somewhat reasonably often. Right, now the main event. This is what you all came here for. Button opens, we defend 5-3 suited. King of spades. King of clubs. Four of spades. Bill and bet small. We roll very high in raise. We're actually raising 40% of the time. Villain has a 7 off with the ace of spades. They can fold. Either is fine. So they can fold this if they want. They call. The turn comes the two of spades. I decided to check, and this hand basically always checks. Which is really, really nice. We're checking 45% of the time. We check. A7 with the ace of spades. Has some checkbacks. It's got a lot of this small betting, but you don't really see that when people have these hands and he bet two thirds pot. Doesn't really have, he has over bets actually instead. Okay, so it's not actually over betting with the ace of spades. So we check call here, and then with the river being the ace of clubs, a7 pure checks by the looks of things. I mean, it's kind of, it doesn't really have this in this tree. It has overbet. Let's say villain overbet, and then we called with our 5-3 suited. Oh my god, it starts to fold versus overbet on the turn. How fucked is that? Oh my god, is that, is that, is that all in? Pure? I mean, this is only for 110% pot, but that's all in pure with the ace spades. That's so worrying. I guess he didn't play it perfectly GTO, which is fine. But we might actually fold this. Look at that, pure fold 5-3 suited, but I'm too good at this game.